Well, hello there, everyone. It's me again, Fat Tomo. Welcome back to the channel. I'm sat here in my garden in the October sunshine. It has been raining this morning, but uh, the weather's brightening up now, so hopefully we'll have a, a few days of dry weather. Anyway, welcome to the first in um, possibly a series of videos, um, depending on how uh, well received this video is or not, where I'm going to focus on different um, YouTube channels, different creators, and explain uh, why I watch their channels, why I like their channels. This will hopefully bring new channels to your attention. You can check them out, you can watch, they can uh, do the same for yours and it makes the YouTube grow for everybody and let, lets the um, viewing base grow for all of us. So we'll see, I don't know whether I'll be any good. So you're my guinea pigs, come along for the ride. The first channel I'm going to um, um, pay attention to is Cruising the Cut. Now, Cruising the Cut is a channel um, created by a man called David Johns. Now, David is quite a brave man. In 2015, he sold his house, he quit his job, he bought a narrow boat, he started the Cruising the Cut YouTube channel. Maybe not in that order, but he did it all at, all at once or all in the same year. Cruising the Cut is all about David's life um, initially on the canals. It goes from buying his boat to you know, modifications to using it into canal history, into lots and lots of other points that are, are really good points. It's a very personal look at the canals because obviously you're in David's home. Um, he's taking you around with him, with everyone. So it's very personal. It's, it's very um, concise. It's very factual. It's very good. Um, David has a wonderful sense of humour. Um, so sort of... Um, with some of the uh, titles you can see it in his um, thumbnails and that such as paint shop boys from when he uh, was painting his boat or root canal from when he was planning a route on the canals now that particular video i like because david um draws a map of the canals around birmingham and a bit further south or down as far as the kennet and avon and he plans a route he's going to go on his first trip and things but it's it's a freehand map it's very accurate accurate and very well explained but there's there's no airs and graces it is what it is it isn't anything um anything more if you know what i mean there's nothing fake about it um and i really feel that i've traveled the canal network with david um even though obviously i haven't and i i consider david um that, that i know him well, no, I don't. We have talking, talking, spoken a little bit off camera. Um, like I asked him for permission to do a video about him. He doesn't know what's coming yet, so hopefully he likes it. Um, there's two chances. But yes, uh, David's whole um, way of doing his videos, the way there's a um, piece of music at the start, which is comforting and, and um, lets the listener know where they are, what they're doing. I may copy that idea, but I haven't yet found a piece of music that I'm happy to put on my videos. So uh, we'll have to see if that happens or not. David then um, goes into lots and lots of the, lots of history, lots and lots of information. You, it's not just here's the canal. He'll tell you, you know, who built the canal, when the canal was built, when a particular bridge was built, what it was built for and all things like that. As I say, it's just a really good watch. I find it very relaxing. Um, the um, rhythm of David's voice, and the rhythm of the boat engine and the wildlife and things like that, um, I actually can zone out to and watch a good hour of videos, no problem, maybe even more. Um, and it's really, really good. Um, I can zone out to whatever the wife sat in the chair next to me waffling on about and, uh, you know, she thinks I'm listening. I bet she does. We'll see. Um, but uh, yeah, so I can just zone out, listen through. It's really good. David's video descriptions are um, very, very good too. There's always lots and lots of extra information, lots of links, lots of things. Um, I'm as guilty as everyone of not having much in the video descriptions, but it gives a more rounded product with having the video descriptions, I think. So David is really, really good at that. So uh, yeah, it's really, really good. So anyway, Go and check out Cruising the Cut, especially if you like canals, but check it out anyway. Give it a chance. Um, you know, check out what David's doing now because he's not on a narrow boat. He's on a different boat. Um, and you can see 
David also has a channel called Vandemonium, which is about his self-built camper van and where he goes with that and things he gets up to. Um, again, very similar to Cruising the Cut. It's, it's a, a similar format, obviously in a camper, not a boat. But get on there, have a look. It's very, very interesting. There's links in my video descriptions for them. There's also links in my video descriptions for my socials, for ways you can support me if you think I'm getting a bit thin. Um, you can also, um, this t-shirt and hat was made for me by um, another YouTuber. They were a gift. So if you check my previous video, there's a link on there um, about that and where you can get them. So if you want merch made up for your things, I mean, you can get it done. I don't have merch. It's things for them. So yeah, check out Cruising the Cut. It's a wonderful um, trip down the canals and um, yeah, just very, very relaxing. Um, the way David edits the videos, the, the way that they're, they're just very calm, very serene and lovely to listen to. I can't really say any more. So yeah, please like and subscribe to me. Drop in the comments um, what you like about this video. If you like the fact of me looking at different YouTubers, if you would like me to focus on your channel, drop me a message, tell me why I should focus on your channel and I'll have a watch and see whether I'm going to. So yeah, I will just sign out on saying thank you, David, for what you do with Cruising Cut and Bandemonium and other channels. Um, but in the words of um, the late, great Terry Wogan when he left Radio 2, David, thank you for being my friend. Now I'm off for a cheese sandwich. Cheerio. I've decided to add a little bit of uh, video on the end of last time I was on my local canal, which is the Kennet and Avon. So have a watch and uh, enjoy. Speak to you soon. So, yeah, so the, there's an arm here that goes off, which is the original Kennet arm, which goes down to a weir and an old mill. And the canal goes round that way to the right, which I'll show you in a minute when I go that way. So let's go down and have a look at the marina entrance. It doesn't look like there's much current here, but when you turn around and go the other way, there's more than you, you think there'll be. Well, more than a fat bloke on a kayak thinks there'll be. As I said before, I was going to go down the coast today, but on Thursday a customer's dog bit me and that became all infected and because I'm diabetic I have to have antibiotics and all sorts of other things, injections and things. So I decided against it. Plus my kids are going back to school tomorrow and they're probably already having a meltdown saying things aren't ready when they are. So I'll go back and help the wife in a bit. Anyway, I'm carrying on down here. There's a white sign in front. That's the entrance to Froud's Bridge Marina. and peaceful when I shut up. Here's the entrance to the marina. And then that way goes down to the weir and the old mill and that one. I'm not going down that way because you can see the current. But here's for our bridge marina. It's quite a big marina. I'll just go in the entrance a little way and then turn around. There's a lot of boats in here. One of my customers has a narrow boat in here. This is the marina. Lots of liverboards in that in here, so and uh, it's probably private, so I'm gonna turn around now. There's actually two basins, there's a bridge over there that goes into another one. Lovely marina. Lovely and peaceful in the countryside.
now. Back out of the marina now. 